Good morning, everyone. My name's Beverly Bryant, um, and this is Masood. Um, we're here to launch the new NHS e-referral service, which will be the replacement for Choose and Book. Okay. Basically, moving to electronic referrals is a key component of NHS England's strategy towards paperless. I think it's really important to be clear that when we talk about paperless NHS, this isn't about stopping patients from having paper. In fact, if a, if a patient wants to receive a, a referral letter by paper, then it's perfectly acceptable that they do that. But actually, in this day and age, many also want to receive emails and texts. And what we really want to do now is to upgrade and update the current electronic method um, of, of choose and book to, to allow uh, patients to do that. But actually, it needs to work for clinicians as well. It needs to work for GPs, and it needs to work for, for um, hospitals receiving those appointments. So we're going to build on it. We're not going to throw out Choose and Book. The fact is 50% of England use Choose and Book, um, but there's a lot of problems with it. What Masood and I are going to talk about today is how we're going to listen to you, consult with NHS over the next five months to make sure that when we move Choose and Book to the next stage, it works for you. Because if it doesn't work for GPs and it doesn't work for hospitals, it's not going to work for patients. The 50% position we have at the moment is worse than everybody being on paper. We've managed to create a perfect storm where hospitals are receiving referrals on a mixed economy. But equally, GPs are struggling to, to uh, be happy with it because of the fact that they, the hospital's slots are not always available. Rather than Masood and I champion it and go on, we've made a short video which I just want to show you now. We all know that digital is faster, safer, more secure. It's part of everyday life. Take booking a flight for example. Would you visit travel agents or phone around several airlines? Or would you log on to a website that gave you all the information you wanted in a single place? Why should healthcare be any different? Each year, the NHS processes around 17 million referrals. Right now, around half of those are paper. Processing paper referrals is outdated, time-consuming, labour-intensive, costly and can be risky. The average paper referral can add two weeks to a patient's referral to treatment pathway. So, how do we wrestle the paper from the people? By giving them what they want. The current Choose and Book service has been around now for many years and it's been used really well in some places, but not so well in others. Over 40 million referrals have gone through Choose and Book in this time and there are over 47,000 services set up around the country. Undeniably, there are positives we can build on for the future. We have spoken to patients and professional users and have identified a number of areas for improvement. Our GP colleagues told us they need a service that incorporates clinical referral templates and decision aids and provides an enhanced advice and guidance facility. A service that enables them to book their patients into diagnostic services, provides outcome and discharge information and which integrates seamlessly with their clinical system. All services and appointments always available. Overall, a service which is more intuitive and user-friendly. Our consultant colleagues and their teams told us they need a service that shares information and integrates better with their hospital clinical systems, that gives them the ability to link appointments within a pathway and make onward referrals to other colleagues and clinics, a service that improves the referral review process so that they can add electronic notes and instructions for their teams. Commissioner colleagues tell us they need better information and reporting capability to monitor patient pathways and outcomes in order to support future commissioning decisions. 
They also want support for more effective and consistent referral management. And let's not forget what this is all about. Patients. They tell us they would like a state-of-the-art online service with useful information to help them make decisions about their care. To be able to book all appointments within their care pathway, including follow-ups and self-referrals. And to be able to use a variety of communication methods such as phone apps, alerts and reminders. So, taking the best of what we have so far, and having listened to our stakeholders, what would we have? Improved access to services, support and choice along the whole pathway. A service that is easier for patients to interact with. Real information to support commissioners. A better quality and safer service. And ultimately, improved health outcomes for patients. This is the vision so far. But we don't want to build a service for you. We want to build a service with you so that we get it right this time. And that's why we want to work with you to find out what really matters. Give us your views. Help us to build a system that meets the needs of all service users. Find out more by contacting us via our mailbox or take a look at our website. So, uh, good morning everybody. Um, thank you for the opportunity to come and speak here. I think what, what the video shows for me, having been involved um, in looking at commissioning for the last couple of years, is there's a person going around and talking to all the individuals involved. Now, actually, where we've seen successful use of Choose and Book, there's been a successful dialogue with the clinicians both involved in primary care and secondary care and all the service providers. And, and that's where the system works. But where it doesn't work is where one group is doing the contracting, commissioning the meetings, and the other group is trying to, trying to make the system, uh, trying to book the appointments. Uh, some organisations who've actually realised what the benefits are have actually made certain that all the meetings that involve any service redesign or any referral process involve all the stakeholders, and actually it works really well. Um, others, where there hasn't been the resource or the opportunity to do that, haven't succeeded as well, but actually then don't know where to turn to to make, it, make things better. But it remains a, a really good foundation to build upon. I, I work in a practice with 16 partners, and they hold me to account about choosing a book on a regular basis. But even more than them are our secretarial staff, who actually have to process this. Some, some of my clinic, clinician colleagues don't use the system well. The secretaries pick up the pieces. But even without listening to them and how the system works or what doesn't work for them, we can't improve it. Shall I go? OK, so how are we going to deliver this? Today is all about the launch. It's to begin the listening exercise. One of the good things about the past few years has been that the team waiting to, with all the pause through the reforms, have been consulting, they've been discussing with GPs, with CCGs, exactly what's wrong, what they don't like about the current choosing book um, system. So we need to hear from you over the next few months. I won't get into too much of the technical um, intricacies of what we're going to do, but the, the engine, the back-end engine that's hold 40, has had 40 million referrals is quite unique. And we're busy replatforming that, moving it from the current technology and upgrading it to make it more flexible and easier to, to um, upgrade and, and use for the future. Whilst we discuss with you what the front end needs to look like. So ideas that me and the team have been discussing are around um, the online travel booking type um, innovations where you have multiple front ends that fit in with GP practice software that's already available that makes it easy and intuitive for them to make those referrals. And equally, but we need you to work with your hospital. We need CCGs to work as a health economy to help make sure that those slots are available. Um, please try and use Choose and Book now. Don't wait for the new technology to be available. We, we think it's going to be about a year before the brand new Choose and Book, uh, the new NHSE referral service rather, is ready but if you start to work with it now, that transition will be much, much easier. 
back to Ms. Well, Hood. I, I think the key thing to understand here are, are the challenges. And actually, with Choose and Book, there's, there's an element of communication with the patients. And not all the patients are aware of how Choose and Book works. And actually, sometimes that letter we gave them didn't include in, enough information. So I think there's a key challenge here about empowering our patients about what the benefits of Choose and Book are, and what rights it gives them, and what opportunities it, it, it gives them as well. Then we look at our referrers. And actually in the past, one of the, most big, the biggest frustrations was not finding the right services, and if you did use the system, not being able to find an appointment, and then having to revert back to a paper process or a phone call process. So it didn't actually add any benefit to you, um, the, whole, the whole process at all. Um, and if you want to become paperless, then actually you can't have two systems working. And I think, as Beverly alluded to earlier, the fact we had two dual systems meant, meant it was very difficult for hospitals to manage the system, but also in primary care, where actually you weren't certain which, which, which one to go to. So you always went for the easier one or the one you knew best. Our providers, well actually, they struggled as well. If you speak to some of our consultant colleagues, you know, they'd blame Choose and Book for overbooking their clinics, but actually it wasn't Choose and Book that overbooked their clinics, it was a process. And actually by listening to them and actually looking at actually how we want to mould the service to go forward, for example, advice and guidance. Our consultant colleagues need protected time to make it work more effectively. But if that isn't built into the process, how, how can they move forward? And again, we've got to support our provider colleagues in giving them the opportunity to make the business change uh, to paperless. So less manual referrals coming in allows them more time to, to adopt paperless. And commissioners. Actually, the, the bigger challenge, I think, in, in commissioning at the moment is we've asked all our, uh, all CCGs have asked their memberships to look at their referrals. But actually, getting good information about your referrals is not very easy at all. If you use Choose and Book, actually, effectively, you can actually get some intelligent information about what you're doing, your activity. And it makes it, from, instead of being a manual process, a, a fairly easy process to look at what your referrals are like and, and what the outcomes have been. And actually, that's much better to, for commissioning and practice to change their behavior than having to do everything manually. I, I think the key thing here for me is, you know, I, I'm here possibly as an enthusiast, but actually, the key thing to make this work and the whole system work is people have to participate. The system hasn't worked, it has worked to a point, but hasn't worked completely. And the intelligence is out there with, with all of you. And I think the critical thing for us is this is only a few examples of where things haven't worked. There's a lot more out there, but there's a lot of examples of where things do work and we really want to build upon them. So we're really keen that actually as part of today that you come along to the stand but actually sign up. There's a letter that's gone up from, out from Beverly at the end of May to all area, area teams, encouraging them to get their CCGs and be able to, to come, al come along and, and participate in the workshops, which are going to run until the end of September. And it's critical that you do come along because it's your opportunity now to influence and make sure that you have a system that you feel is fit for purpose. Thank you. Okay, I think we've got a press conference. Um. Thank you. Um, and, um before we um, um, stop for coffee, which we will stop now, there's a press conference here which is going to be held regarding, um, uh, regarding the new electronic system. Thank you for your attention this morning. Have a good conference.